Good day everybody, it's me Jeffrey on a beautiful Saturday, at least around Montreal. Let's hope the weather is nice where you are, lots of sun and warm weather, because in a few days it's going to be back to school, at least in Quebec schools. Today I want to talk to you about questions you could ask your ESL teacher, because most students they have an ESL class. ESL means English as a second language. English as a second language. I am an ESL teacher. Now here are some questions you could ask in the ESL classroom. So let's begin. So let's say, oh, you're thirsty, it's hot, you would like some water, well, you could ask the ESL teacher, may I go drink some water? May I go drink some water? You could also ask, may I go get a drink of water? May I go get a drink of water? It's the same thing. Now, let's say you need to pee or you're not feeling well. You could ask the ESL teacher, may I go to the washroom? May I go to the washroom? Now let's say the teacher says something and it's a little fast and you don't understand. Well, you could ask the teacher, can you repeat that please? Can you repeat that please? Now let's say you want to say something, but you don't know the word in English. For example, you say, oh, in French, it's a calculatrice, but I do not know how to say calculatrice in English. Well, the question you could ask is, how do you say calculatrice in English? How do you say the word in English? Now let's say you have your pencil and the pencil is dull, not pointy, not sharp, and you need to use this object. Well, the question you would ask is, may I sharpen my pencil? May I sharpen my pencil? Now let's say you are writing with your pencil. I'm writing. And you need to consult this object, the dictionary. Well, you can ask your ESL teacher, may I borrow a dictionary? May I borrow a dictionary? You could also say, may you lend me a dictionary? May you lend me a dictionary? So those are some questions you could ask your ESL teacher. Don't forget, ESL is English as a Second Language. For the conclusion of this lesson, I just want to mention the difference between may and can. In traditional English, may is for permission, like permission to go to the washroom. That is why we normally say, may I go to the washroom. Can is for ability to be capable to do something. For example, I can speak English, a lot of you can count, a lot of you can jump. So can is for ability, may for permission. But don't be surprised though by listening to Anglophones, English speakers, that they may say can also for permission. So you could say that today can and may the same thing for permission, but you can never say in English, I may speak French. That doesn't make sense when you want to say, I can speak French. I have the ability to speak French. So I hope this lesson is good for all of you. And I wish everybody a wonderful school year for 2020, 2021. Let's hope everyone will stay safe and thanks again. Enjoy the last weekend before going back to school, at least for most of you.
So take care. Goodbye.